Hi Pisces, welcome to your weekend express love read for the 1st to the 3rd of November. So excited to be with you guys. Now, the longer readings are happening for the weeklies. So if you prefer the longer style, which goes into your feelings and their feelings, make sure that you hit that subscribe button down here, down right there. Um, and hit the notification button too, so you get notified when those readings come. The next slot will be released in the next couple of days, okay? Let's get started for your love messages this weekend. That's trying to come out. All right, what do we got here? Oh, strength and high priestess. All right. So I feel like you're in your element here, Pisces. Like you kind of you're back in your you've got your mojo going on. You're strong, confident. You're connected to your higher self. This is great. And you guys had the most amazing weekly read last week. So yeah, you've got six of wands here. You're feeling like you're getting recognized for all your hard work. Like it's, there's definitely um, a lot of like positive energy coming off Pisces at the moment. All right, so it does look like you, <laughs> Pisces and Virgo. Oh my God, what is happening here? If you are a Pisces with a Virgo connection, please go and look at the Virgo. Please also go and look at the last week Virgo and last week Pisces for the weeklies because I don't know what's going on with Pisces and Virgo connections at the moment, but it is out of control. So it does look like if you have been in separation from a Virgo that they will be coming out of the cold. Now, they're in reverse though. So... They might be not showing their best self. They might be being a little bit, you know, negative, crabby, just not themselves. So be aware. It could also mean that um, you're kind of obsessing about someone that you want to come out of the cold with. But I'm not getting that because you've got all this positive, amazing energy over here. So what I think is going to happen is... You've just found yourself right again after not hearing from this person and suddenly now that your vibration is up and amazing, they're going to just drop back into your life like nothing has happened. That's what I am picking up, Pisces. All right, let's see what we've got here. What's the strength card and high priestess? I kind of feel like I know what we are here. I feel like you've gone through a lot of stuff to get there, but you're, you're just powering through life yeah looking for you know new opportunities talking to people page of pentacles is there again earth energy so you could be getting a message from an earth energy could be thinking about messages from an earth energy what is this six of wands please six of wands i'm feeling like this is a real public recognition thing though pisces so I don't know why you would be in the public eye all of a sudden, but I feel like maybe that's actually what's drawing them back to you as well. They might see you in the public somewhere. Look at this Ace of Cups. Wow. Yeah, like you're like, hmm, I've got these new opportunities coming. Um, you're just a whole bunch of success over here. All right, let's get some more information on this Five of Pentacles and Virgo Hermit energy. Five of Pentacles, Hermit in Reverse, please. Tell us more about this. Tell us more about this. Here we go. Mm. They've realized they don't want to move on. What do what do we Pisces people want though? Uh, oh, so I said what do we Pisces people want? And the Seven of Wands came up. So I think that when they come back, although they've realized that they don't want to be without the old Pisces, we're like pretty guarded about it. I think it took a little while to get right again. And now we're like, well, hang on a second. What's to say you're not going to do this again? All right, let's see what the outcome is for this weekend. Most likely outcome, please, for Pisces this weekend with this situation. Out of control. Oh, two came out. Okay, the Empress and the Three of Pentacles in reverse. So it could be that 
you're kind of not giving them anything, Pisces. Ooh. I feel like it's too late for them. I feel like you're just so in the zone over here that you're like, you know what, you waited too long to come back. Let's see. That might just be at the beginning. Ooh, sorry. All right. We got for this weekend outcome, please. Most likely outcome for this weekend. Most likely outcome for this weekend. Whoop. I dropped too many cards, sorry. There we go. Lovers in reverse. I don't I think that they are going to make a love offer. I don't yeah, that Queen of Cups just came in. I think that they're going to make a love offer. I don't think you're going to accept it straight away. Do I think that you're never going to accept it? I don't know. But at, for the weekend, I think you're going to make them work for it. Anything else, please, for outcome for this weekend? What have we got for this weekend? I'm going to just do a sneaky future one, two. So stand by. Yeah, okay. It's really... Mm, nine of Wands there. And it's because you're like... I don't know if I can go through that again. This is what this guy's saying. He's like, oh, I don't know if I can do this again. Like, I'm exhausted. I just got through this. I'm just feeling good again. Why are you back now? Kind of energy. All right. I'm going to do... I don't have my other deck here. That's annoying. All right. And the moon on the bottom. Wow. Okay. All right. That told me what I need to know. I'm going to do a quick sneaky don't tell the other signs. We're going to do a little quick reading. All right, can you please tell us what is the most likely outcome for that scenario for this coming week, next seven days, please? Oh, Ten of Cups in reverse, Pisces. You're not going to, I don't think we're going to accept this. I just don't think you're going to accept it. Oh, something just flipped. Empress in reverse again. And it's because this feeling that they gave you was like destabilizing. You don't want to go there again. Oh dear, they've waited too long. Eight of Wands, no communication. They've waited too long, Pisces. This Virgo connection, I think it's done. And I think it's you deciding that it's done. I don't think it's them. Anything else? Yep, they are going to be regretting it. It is regret all over the place. All right, let's see what Spirit advises you should do. What advice does Spirit have for Pisces in this situation, please? Oh, okay. All right. Oh, there he is. Our Wounded Warrior again and the Knight of Cups. So, uh, yes, this cup is going to come in. This Knight of Cups is coming in. But see how... See how oh, sorry about that. I don't know what's happening with my camera. It's just decided to go crazy. Oh, I'm going to have to hold it. See how here he's got the, the Knight of Cups coming in and he's looking at him. He's looking across at him like, I don't know if I should trust you. So it's like, be aware of any incoming offers. N know them for what they are. Okay, so remember how that made you feel. I'm just trying to... Okay, I fixed it. Sorry. All right, so what this is saying is, yeah, this offer might be coming in, but you need to be wary of it, okay? Don't forget, this person didn't communicate with you for a little while, so there is nothing. Just make sure that cup is legit before you go drinking from the poison chalice. What other advice does Spirit have for this situation, please, for this weekend for Pisces? I think too much time's passed though. That's what I'm sensing. Oh my God, three times that Empress has come out in reverse. Absolutely. Wow. Okay. It could mean that you're kind of being a little bit clingy, Pisces. So be aware of that. Yeah, so could be a little bit clingy. And don't, don't hold on to something that isn't for you. Or even holding on to the idea of something that isn't for you. Yeah, okay. This is also like that, together with the Empress, it's like you're investing more 
than the other person. Like, don't invest more than what that other person's investing in you. Advice, please. Yeah, keep your emotional distance. Stay woke. Be aware. This is Scorpio season, remember. So, you know, things that start, and we're in Mercury retrograde as well. So things that start now might be, I kid you not, that is on the bottom of the deck, which is Scorpio's card. Um, so absolutely getting the messages that, hey, things that start in this period might not be long term. So put them off if you can. Maybe it's better that you put this cup off. It might not happen, but it might happen just down the track. All right. Most likely, no, sorry, romance angels, please. Romance Angel for Pisces, please. Healing family issues. So love life benefits when you forgive your parents. So there's always benefit in forgiving your parents. That could, There might be some attachment issues. That could be why uh, this clinginess, this poor attachment is happening. So just be aware that those are things that absolutely affect your relationships. All right, Pisces, that was a bit of a disjointed kind of read. I am sorry I got interrupted. The camera dropped. My dog interrupted me. Like, I just, yeah, but I needed to give you that extra little bit of something. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe, and uh, I'll see you for the weeklies. Have a good weekend. Bye.